Hermione, Ron, and Harry research the secret of the Philosopher's Stone. It could produce the elixir of life, a potion that would make anyone immortal. No wonder someone's trying to get it. Anyone would want it, said Harry. Hermione suspected that the package Hagrid had taken from Gringotts contained the Philosopher's Stone. It was the Philosopher's Stone that was down the Forbidden Corridor, being guarded by whatever it was that had growled at them. Snape's been acting very suspicious lately. He may be planning to steal the Philosopher's Stone. But there's no way Snape would try anything while Dumbledore's around. But Dumbledore left ten minutes ago for the Ministry of Magic in London. That must mean that tonight's the night. Let's go! What about Filch? He's always watching the Forbidden Corridor. We'll just have to take our chances then. <sighs> it looks like Filch is somewhere else tonight. Come on, let's go. This is where the growling has been coming from. You hear that? I don't think we should go in there. But we've got to stop Snape. Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. Fluffy to sleep for a while. Do be careful! Hermione? No, I don't. Right. See you in a minute. I hope. It's okay! It's a soft landing! You can jump! Come on, Harry. Snare. 
Next time I'm going to pay more attention in herbology. Help! It's a devil's snare! Try not to get too close to those tentacles. Incendio! 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 Thanks, Harry. That was close, Harry. This way, Harry. You have to catch the key, Harry. Time to put your Quidditch skills to practice. Up. Good luck, Harry. Gigantic chessboard. Ron's gone through to play. I hope he's all right. 